What's going on guys? Welcome back to um, another one of my videos. Today we're going to be doing a Clash of Clans tier list from my least favorite town halls to my favorite town halls. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so we're going to work our way from Town Hall 1 to Town Hall 14. Unfortunately, this tier list wasn't made when Town Hall 15 was come out. So Town Hall 15 will be on this tier list. But at the very end, I'll tell you where I put Town Hall 15. So let's start off with Town Hall 1. Town Hall 1, you know, plain and simple. So we're going with C. It does have a lot of nostalgia for me. But there's really not much going on to it. Town Hall 2. Uh... Probably C2. Honestly, all the beginning Town Halls are kind of the same. Town Hall 3 is also C. Uh, Town Hall 4 also holds a special place in my part, but I still think it's C. Um, the thing about Town Hall 4 is you unlock loons, which that's when you really start getting into some attack strategies, some really cool stuff that you can do at Town Hall 4. Uh, so Town Hall 5, I would give Town Hall 5 a B. Yeah, that's right. So I actually really, really, oh, I clicked the wrong button. I actually really, really enjoy Town Hall 5. I think it's one of the better Town Halls. Um, well, I guess it's kind of in the middle of the road, but I really like the fact that you unlock wizards and at the lower Town Hall levels, I love using wizards. They're just so fun to use. Um, and this is where you also unlock heal spells, I believe. So this is where you can start doing the giant wizard healer strategy and it's really cool and you can have like hogs in your clan castle and stuff and it's it's just the all around decent town hall level it's, it's nothing crazy and nothing bad uh town hall 6 is also going into me um i don't really remember what town hall 6 gave you i don't think it gave you the rage spell wait did Town Hall 6 unlock the heal spell? Wait, did you unlock the heal spell at Town Hall 5 or Town Hall 6? Okay, I gotta switch this up. Bruh. Bruh, chill. Oh, it's at level 6. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Okay, I take that back. 5, you're going into C. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so 6. Okay, everything I said about 5 is what 6 is, alright? Now let's go into Town Hall 7. Now, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Town Hall 7 is the vibe. Bro, Town Hall 7 is freaking fire. I'm only kind of sad about Town Hall 7 is because... Actually, no, I'm putting it at B now. I used to like Town Hall 7 a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. I think Town Hall 7 is like... It's kind of too easy. You know, that's a lot of things with these beginner town hall ups. Like, I remember when town hall 9 was hard as hell, bro. Like, like you you couldn't do any... Like, it was one of the hardest town hall levels to be at. Like, we charge Lalo. Like, same thing with town hall 7. It's just, like, easier. It's too easy. And that's something you guys are going to see later when we go up to the higher town halls if we're not already at the higher town halls is I really enjoy a balance of high level gameplay and easiness, like how easy it is. Like you you guys are going to notice the town halls that have just the right amount of skill level to three star. Just the right amount of skill level, like nothing too difficult, but nothing too easy. That's what I really like, like the intermediate skill level. However, um, I do like the town halls that are a little higher than intermediate, like maybe towards the advanced side, but not too advanced, and you guys are going to see that later on. So town hall 8, now this is where the game really gets fun, but again, I used to love this town hall level, but it just got too easy, dude. I'm going to have to put it in B. It just got too easy, like everything, like you can spam anything down and you're going to 3 star. Like, you're gonna 3-star if you spam. It's just it's just that simple. Like, I just don't think it's that good. It's just... It's meh. Like, it used to be so much better, but it's just too easy now. So now let's go with 9. Now, 9 is interesting because 9 used to be my favorite Town Hall level. But now, again, it's gotten easy. So I'm going to have to settle with A. I know I'm gonna get a lot of, like, slack from this because Town Hall 9 I, is probably the most widely uh, favorite Town Hall level in Clash of Clans. Like, that's the Town Hall that everyone loves. Like, everyone says, 
What's your town favorite town all about? They say town all night. But it just my opinion is too easy. It used to be so much better. Like if if we're talking about one or two years ago, town all night would easily be the S. It wouldn't be my favorite town hall level, but it'd easily be an S. Now it's just, it's too easy. You know what I'm saying? Okay, town hall 10. Now town hall 10, I ain't gonna lie, is kind of what town hall 9 used to be a year ago. So for that reason, I'm putting 10 in S. 10 is so good, dude. This is where we start to get into the higher difficulty stuff, where you gotta have a little bit of skill to actually three, like nine, maybe not so much, but I still think eight and seven, you just spam dragons down and you get three star nine. You, you got a little more strategy, but it's not that much harder. 10 is where the strategy really starts coming in. You also get siege machines and you know, all these other things. And that's when you really can start doing queen charges and stuff like that. So Town Hall 11. Oh my God, dude, this isn't even a question. Without a doubt, S. Town Hall 11 is awesome. It's great. It's not my favorite. I still think that Town Hall 10 is better than Town Hall 11. I don't know if I'd be hot take. But Town Hall 11, it gets a lot of like hate, but I don't see it. Like it's, it's again, people that aren't skilled won't find this Town Hall level that fun because it's a, it's a higher level Town Hall. It's a little more skill involved, but it's also just, it's, it's fun, dude. I also love the amount of attack strategies in Town Hall 11. There's such a wide amount. Like you can, if you learn like three attack strategies, bro, like if you learn like Pekka Bobat and uh, let's see, hybrid, and then you can learn Green Charge Law too. Dude, you learn those three attacks, those are gonna carry you out through your entire game. So now we get into Town Hall 12. And if you guys know me, dude, I used to love this Town Hall level. This Town Hall level like was my thing. It's good, but it's not nearly as good as I remember. I actually think it's better than 11. I ain't gonna lie, 12 is better than 11. So I'm actually gonna bring 11 down and I'm still gonna put 12 in S. And I put it in ahead of Town Hall 10. Town Hall 12 really is awesome. I mean, it was my favorite Town Hall level for a very, very long time because I think this is where the game really was the balance that it needed skill and offense. Like the offense and defense like maybe the defense was a little more high leveled but that's what i liked that's what i said earlier i like a little more advanced things but not things that are too too difficult to three star and i think town hall 12 you need the exact amount of skill you need it you need a good you need a damn good amount of skill to three star max town hall 12 as a town hall 12 you're you're gonna need some skill and that's what i like about it you know Town Hall 13, dude, we have a very complicated relationship. I used to hate this Town Hall level, like hate it. And that's when I played it as the highest Town Hall level. Um, and if you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna notice, I don't like the highest Town Hall level. I'm gonna explain this later. But I do think that I used to hate it, but now, I ain't gonna lie, it's my new favorite Town Hall level. I know that seems like crazy, but I actually think it is because Town Hall 13 is kind of like Town Hall 12, but one year ago. It's even a little bit more advanced than Town Hall 12. But the thing about it is like, it's it's just so much fun. And also with the new stuff, you unlock the recall spell at Town Hall 13, you know, the siege barracks and everything is just, it's just, it's like an upgraded version of Town Hall 12. And the scatter shots, I know some people hate those things, but I ain't gonna lie, it adds more tactics, which makes it more fun. To me, higher difficulty makes it more fun to me. Uh, so Town Hall 14. <sighs> I think you guys know where I'm going with this one. If you know me, I don't like Town Hall 14 at all. Zero. This Town Hall level, I ain't gonna lie, kind of screwed up the game. Why in the heck did Supercell think a poison bomb? that lasts for like a minute be okay i i don't understand what's going through their head sometimes it's not cool like it's just it's not cool it's not fun it's not fun to attack and you are not gonna three star here unless you're like a pro player or a super super unnatural person that has like eight fingers you're not going to three star at town hall 14 at least not a lot and i would know like, I think I'm a pretty skilled Clash player, and I even find it struggling to 3-star at Town Hall 14. So I can't even imagine how hard it is 
for normal players that don't spend 12 hours running to get to three star on, at, at this town hall level. It's just way too like OP. Like the stuff there, it's just not okay. But they did add the flame flinger, and I really like that. The flame flinger really makes me boost this. But in my opinion, I think it's going to go into B. Yep, I know this seems really low. But I really do think it's not that good. Now, actually, I ain't gonna lie. Town Hall 14, I haven't played it after Town Hall 15 came out. Because when I played Town Hall 14, it was when it was the highest Town Hall level. So I don't really know how to judge it now. But um, I'm guessing that it's probably a little bit better now than it was when I played it as the max Town Hall level. So for that reason, I'm actually going to move it up to A. And even though Town Hall 14 is still not my favorite, I think it's a little better now. And I don't remember it being super, super hard to 3-star. Like, it was really hard. It was definitely hard. But it wasn't, like, impossible. But then, Town Hall 15. And this is where the stuff is horrible, dude. I can't stand this new Town Hall level. I had a Town Hall 15 account for, like, a month. Um, uh, and then I just like, I, I got it taken away from me, but either way, like, dude, I'm sorry, but Town Hall 15 is just bad. Like, it's just bad. I don't know why they make the defense so overpowered at the highest Town Hall level every single time. Dude, okay, first of all, why? they Okay, they first added a poison bomb, right? That was already bad enough on Town Hall. Now they added a freaking spell tower that can make things invisible and poison. So it's like you have three poison bombs on a Town Hall 15 base now. No one wants to play with that. No one, no one wants to play against three poison towers. Uh, I mean, poison bombs. Like nobody wants to do that. Also, the attack strategies, all the almost all of them, like Queen Charge Lalo, is useless at this Town Hall level. That pisses me off because. Queen Charge Lalo, in my opinion, should be like really good at every single Town Hall level. It shouldn't be necessarily the best, but it should be really good. And it's just not good. So I'm putting Town Hall 15 into B. Okay, guys. So that's my final tier list for Clash of Clans. Make sure you go into the comments. Let me know your opinions on every single one of these. And make sure to subscribe to this channel for more tier lists, Clash of Clans content, more robots content. I'm working on a video. It's going to come out soon. And more robots frontiers when that comes out. So thank you all so much for watching. Discord server will also be in the link of this video's description. So also make sure to join our Discord server. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.